Hi, hope you're keeping safe. I'm taking you back to 2017. Hi, I thought I'd talk a bit about tackling difficult grain today. I've had a lot of feedback from my uh, video about using a bevel up plane for doing this. And uh, you can see that video up here. But uh, today I want to use a Bailey pattern plane with the standard 45 degree pitch frog in it. Now I've just used my number four to create what is a, a glass like surface on this piece of panga panga. But when I try to use it on this piece of tanga tanga, and yes, I pick the names especially to try and confuse everyone, um, I just get a load of tear out. This is dreadful. I could use a block plane, and the standard bevel angle on this would be 25 degrees. So add that to the bed of about 20 degrees, gives you exactly the same angle as uh, Bailey Platinum Plane, so is this number four. And the results would be pretty much the same. You'd get the same sort of tear out. Now I tried that just now, and spot on, exactly the same problems. It's quite easy to address it with this, and you can probably guess how. You can regrind the angle of the bevel on the blade up to something a bit steeper, maybe 40 or 50 degrees, which when added to the 20 degree bed, gives you an angle of between 60 and 70 degrees, and that will really help. I definitely suggest you get a spare blade for that, spare iron, and it's fairly quick to, to swap them between each other. But obviously there's an advantage to using the bench planes, the bigger planes. And uh, so let's tackle that. How would we do that? You're probably aware that manufacturers who make these planes quite often sell replacement frogs with different pitch angles on them. And that's a way of, of tackling the problem. But switching frogs every time you need to tackle a bit of difficult rain can be a real hassle. Wouldn't it be a lot easier if you could just switch out uh, the blade? Well, there is a way. And you'll need a spare blade. Uh, I definitely suggest you also get a spare chip breaker because just swapping the unit in one single go is a lot easier, you don't need any tools. So just how is it possible to have a, a set of blade and chip breaker that we can put into our standard plane and suddenly be using a 60, 70 degree uh, angle of attack? Well, it comes down, and you can probably tell I've got some sharpening equipment here, comes down to doing some honing on the blade. And we're actually going to be honing on the back of the blade. Now when the blade is in the plane, the bevel side is down. And so this side of the, the back side of the plane iron is going to be at the same angle as the um, frog. So it's always going to be 45 degrees. But obviously if we work on this back side here and hone or grind a little angle on there, we can affect the angle of attack. And that's what we're going to be doing. And I've used between about 15 and 30 degrees here. That seems to be fairly standard. That will give you an extra 15 or 30 degrees to the pitch angle. So we can uh, increase from 45 up to um, 60 or even 75 degrees. Now we can do that using a normal jig. It's an eclipse style jig. So put the blade in the different way around this time so we've got the bevel up to the top and we need to set the extension that will give us uh, this one's at 15 degrees so I'll extend the blade out enough to give me a 15 degree angle when it's down on my stone. With the Eclipse skies a projection of roughly 90 mil gives me the 15 degree bevel angle and obviously these guides I've already got markings out for 30 degrees, which is 38 mil projection. So you can work anything between those two to get you the back bevel of between 15 and 30 degrees. The bevel is simply worked on the stones, as you would if it was the, uh, the front bevel.
Now even though we've added 15 degrees to the edge on this iron, it should still be prepared sharp enough so it can cut hairs off your arm. Clearly as we reassemble the chip breaker onto the iron, we want to hold it back so that it's not going down the bevel that we've just created. So now planing should be a little bit different and you'll notice that um, it's going to be more difficult to push the plane through the work. Obviously the, the angle of the edge is a lot greater, you're going to need more effort. So help yourself out, put a little bit of lubrication on the sole. So we take any friction away from that that we can. Also notice that it sounds different. Much more of a scraping sound. So that's a lot better than it was. But I'm going to increase that angle to 30 degrees now and see what finish we can get with that. remarkably better than it was. This 30 degree back bevel is also the only way that I found of planing this uh, Pippi U. Which under all other attempts I've made, there's been a real pig. Uh, you can see over here the amount of tear out that I've had in the past. It really is, it's, it's my sample board. I've had this for absolutely donkey's years. And uh, every so often I get it out and try my latest techniques. And uh, I'm gradually getting better, but this is the only technique which has really allowed me to plane a nice glass-like finish on the Pippi U but it really is quite uh, fantastic the difference that this makes over attempting it with a standard pitch when it's just absolutely impossible. Look after yourselves and don't forget to subscribe to see videos every day during the COVID-19 problems.